Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out for yourself, being able to relax, meditate, you know, get that solitude so you can learn yourself on so many different levels and on so many different perspectives is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just uh, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos is very inf very informative to you and gave you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really hard times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And, uh... Today, my meditation music is Happiness Frequency, Serotonin, Dolphamine, Endorphin Release, 3325. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about 2021 Hey Ocas, the beautiful transition towards the new chapter in your life. Yes, you know, there's a lot of things that I'm seeing, and I'm so happy for y'all. You know, you've been letting me know about the things that's going on in your life. You're finally seeing why things had to happen the way they happened. And I know it's hard to go through that, especially when you know you're working hard. Or, you know, after you had that, that spiritual awakening, that can be the most scariest situation that you can ever really go through. Like, you've already been through enough stuff. Just because you're a Hayoka, you know you've been through a lot of stuff. Um, but it's just like, after you go through that spiritual awakening of whatever tragedy you had to deal with, whether it was death in a family, losing a job, on the verge of homelessness, um, a divorce, major breakup, you know, being, you know, it's just like after you've gone through those spiritual awakenings, you don't have as many friends as you did when you worked for. You know, it's not as hard for you to, if you're at a job <laughs> where you are in that 3D world and you finally wake up, it's so hard to deal with folks like that. Because it was like when I was working, um, I was going through my verge of going through a lot of things. I had to really keep to myself, you know. And I was always that talkative person in the social life, you know, trying to always, you know, talk to people all the time. And it was just like, and I don't understand why that, you know, unless I can find a job that was really, truly fulfilling me on all my gifts or going towards something that I'm aiming for in my life right now, it would have been perfect. But I can't really find anything, you know, even though I've been looking and trying to go on interviews and even going on interviews. It's just not working for me. So I'm just like, okay, universe is sitting up here telling me, no, this is the things you need to work on. I'm like, uh, but I do need to, <laughs> you know, survive and stuff like that. Like, don't worry about that. We got that covered. And it's just like so many different things I went through. And I know it's hard. You have to really be, you know, patting yourself on the back because you have been through so much. Being able to, you know, see why things had to go the way they did, you know, because there was a lot of times when I sat up here and just cried. You know, I still do. You know, I just had me a moment the other day during my dad's birthday. And it was like, I didn't want to cry, but it was just something, you know, I kept on hearing my mom and my, my dad and especially my grams, you know, they were telling me, you need to release this. You need to release it. We know you're sad. We understand why you're like this, you know, but you need to go ahead and re release it. Because I thought I would finish releasing everything, but you know, if you ever lost a parent and it's like a significant day comes up, it gets it, it puts you in a somber moment, you know. Sometimes people can sit up here and say, you know, yes, they're in a better place. But it's like with my situation, there's so much, there's so many questions more than I got answers. I get answers when the universe feels like I'm ready for them. But it's like when you have never got that closure, it's kind of hard for you to just let it go and, you know, release and go on about your business. But it was just like going through this is really allowed me to see things in so many different perspectives, allowing me to see it, you know, like why this had to happen, why that, you know, because if I never went through these things, 
I would have never did my videos. Without me doing my videos, it wouldn't have put set as soon as I said that my phone lit up. Uh, going through this and being able to make videos, because like I said, you know, when I first started this situation, you know, y'all have heard me. If you've been with me for a while, you've heard me say that before. You know, when I first started, they didn't have a lot of people talking about hell, because, you know, I've probably seen about four or five videos, and a lot of them were like, android type voices so it was kind of hard for me to really deal with that you know i'm like i don't want to listen to a robot you know i want i'd rather for me to be able to hear a person talking so it's just like when i can see victor otto i think that's his name uh ralph smart uh teal swan uh i forgot something kundalini that was lady and higher self those i, I was so blessed to be able to have that because it made a lot of sense you know, going through the things I was going through, you know, spirit guides will guide me this way, spirit guides will guide me that way, and then being able to make sense saying, you know what, you make videos over the experience you're having, or you, you're making videos over the visions that you have, you know, because a lot of people might be going through things but don't know how to express it to other people, and, you know, it's just like, when you try to express it to other people, either they're not going to believe you or they're going to think you're crazy, or they're just not going to understand what the heck you're talking about. They're going to be looking like, I'm so lost. So it's just like, you know, talking to a, you know, talking to a brick wall because they're not going to understand it if they're still in that sleep state of mind. So, you know, there was like a few people told me that recently starting to um, come and watch my video saying, I have not seen too many videos about Hey Ogas. It's like the things that you're talking about. I totally resonate with you know I can really say that I've been through these things in life you know being a Hayoka you already had trouble coming into the world like I said you were doomed from the womb when you came out <laughs> you know because it was already hard as hell to get you birth to get here so that was already your first strategy of going through this because the fact is you had this it was like you were chaotic even before you got here you probably just you know high kicking it in your mom's womb and stuff like that so going through all these different things you knew it was already going to be a struggle for you when you you were brought back here you know so it's like all those stages of your life you did things ass backwards you couldn't just let things go you always had to go investigate take the long road even though you could have took the bridge and just got over the stuff no you want to take the back road sideways like no nah, even though that that was too easy let me go take this hard way you know doing things backwards being jokey about things not really taking things serious you know you say things towards people and they're like did they just say that for real? And I've gotten that my whole life. Because I was like, you know you were thinking it. So I'm just going out and say it. You know what I'm saying? Not disrespecting nobody, but I'm just going to be honest. Just really be honest. So it's just like when I, I, I see a lot of myself and, you know, I see my dad in me. You know, because it's like I've heard how he says certain things. I'm just like, oh, my God. Now I see where I get it from because he's, he's crazy, too. But it's like a funny crazy. But... You know, going through all these different things, it allowed me to feel blessed. Even though, you know, what I went through was really hard, really hard for me to process. I had to be able to lose friends. I had to be able to see my family for who they were to know they weren't truly family. Um, being able to say things, you know, some people could understand, you know, but then some people didn't believe me, you know, and some people were jealous of it. It was just all these different things I had to be able to experience because this is what life is about. You know, it made me see people for so many different ways. It allowed me to see the journeys I had to have with certain friends that I had to cut ties with. You know, it wasn't no easy road, but it, you know, I'm just like, aha, you had to be able to go through these things. And it's just like when you're going through your spiritual awakening, it can be hard. I mean, well, you know it's hard. There's many days that you want to give up. There's many days that you want to cry and say, why me? Why do I have to constantly go through this? You know, I'm, I'm pushing out positivity, but I still catch so much hell for it. You're going to catch hell because just for the fact is, darkness and the devil knows what you're capable of. So they ain't going to keep throwing any kind of distraction in your way to make sure you don't get towards that mountain. You don't get that, you know, that flag stuck at the mountaintop. They want to make things hard for you. They want to keep pulling up things that has wounded you. Things have hurt you. They will bring people into your life that you need to have closure with, to break ties with completely. You know, you're gonna have people talking about you. You're gonna have people doubting you. When you know you're speaking truth, a lot of people ain't gonna like you. <laughs> so it's just like, you have to go through all those different emotions. You're gonna lose people along the way, but it, it, it's all right because the right people are gonna gravitate towards you. 
there is going to be like, hey, I get you. It's like, hey, there's Sam. I, I, I like Sam. Sam's just like me. Sam done went through things too, and he's able to break them down to me. Or I'm seeing Molly. She went through this and this and this and that, and I'm able to resonate with her. You know, all these different people had to go through this. They're going through beautiful transformations. Even though it was hard for you, you have to be able to commend yourself, pat yourself on the back because you went through so much so so much because it's like when y'all start telling me like Roz and I had to go through this you're, you're having to face people that you probably cut off before it's just the fact is that you had to go through this to be able to take your power back you know know your worth have that love and respect for yourself getting the validation from yourself not seeking validation through other people not trying to be the clan of the, those robots anymore you're following the beat to your own drum you probably already were but it's like before you were worrying about is somebody gonna follow with you and you're not worried about that anymore it's like me i'm just like hey if they meant to be in my life they'll be there if not i'm not breaking my neck you know and it's just like you know people are like hey let's be friends i'm like Ugh. <laughs> we'll see we'll take it day by day you know so I love the way I communicate with people I love the way I can be able to help people understand break it down to them allowing them to know hey you have to really see things for what they are don't uh, hold on to things for fear I used to do a lot about that you know hold on to things because I was scared of change scared about what was coming around the corner don't know if I could make it I had to drop and lose a lot of things that I held dear to me. I had to sacrifice a lot. Because if you you know, when God tells you to put things down because he wants you to be able to pick something up that's worth, you know, taking to you, taking for you on the next chapter. Chapter, they allow you to do certain things for a certain period of time, but then they'll start cutting things off to where you can't get to them old things anymore. You know, to start breaking off things to where you can't have certain things anymore. And being able to go through that and seeing why you know it's just like you know I, I, earlier today I was just thinking to myself like you know what you've really been through a lot but look how many people you're helping you know they, they're telling me Rosalind there's not that many Hayoka videos out there which is true you know I mean if there's somebody else talking about some Hayokas you know I don't really try to do you know go out and watch other people's videos because I don't want anybody thinking I'm trying to move off of them I don't do that you know, um, it's just crazy how certain, some of us can still be in tune with each other. I know a lot of uh, people that are empaths and stuff like that were pretty much talking about the same things. You know, like, you know, they have their, their platform where they're talking about the, you know, the shift in the phases of the moons and stuff like that is going on. Now, if I see something like that and I already know I'm starting to have visions of something, it's probably what Source wanted me to, it's like, hey, you know, this is a part of that puzzle that you were trying to worry, you know, you were wondering about or worried about. This is why you're having this situation. So being able to be blessed, breaking it down to people for everybody to understand, not to say you're, you're stupid or ignorant or anything like that, but it's just like sometimes you're using these big, long words, and I'm just like, what is he trying to say? <laughs> you know, I'm like, just say it. You ain't got to use all these big words. We already know you're smart. We already know you're gifted, but you ain't got to use these big, old, long words. We don't even know what you're talking about. But being able to tell people and keep it real and letting people know, I'm like, hey, you know, I you know, I have no reason to lie. You know, empaths know when somebody's trying to feed them BS. You know, when people are not being straight up honest with them, they're hiding stuff, they're cloaking things from you. You know, and it's just a blessing now when you can be able to see, is this person even worth my energy anymore? And allow you to see things. Universe puts things in spotlight, you know, spotlight. Because especially if you start meditating, say, you know, God or universe, whoever you pray to, it's like, hey, can you please take anybody out of my life that's not there for me, that talks about me behind my back and smiles in my face, or just really not in a healthy relationship with me? Can you remove them out of my life? Then they'll start showing you visions of certain people. I've had that. And I'm just like, what the heck? I only really like them. You know, I'm like, yeah, but they're not really liking you, and they're not, they're gonna block you from your blessings okay that's all you had to tell me click you know and I had to go it was just like people come into your life for a reason either for a lesson or blessing either they're gonna teach you hurt you educate you or show you things that you you know you really truly need to see about yourself and you know about the world and that's fine you know some people are there for a lifetime some people are there for a season but sometimes we sit up here like I've said it before sometimes we have a bad habit of placing people in lifetime expectations when they were really supposed to be seasonal you know there's people that you know tell me Rosalind I really I was dating this guy and I really really cared about him and this and this and that 
obviously, you know, if the universe is showing you these things, that's for a reason. You better take heed. <laughs> you know, stop engaging in stuff like that. I had to learn the hard way. I was with somebody for 21 years, knowing I seen that for that, but hoping and praying, you know, if I show them enough love, they would change. But you can show somebody love all you want to, but it's up to them if they want change or not. You know, and it's just like now, I used to have hatred towards my heart when people went out their way to hurt me, and I always had to have the last word. So I'm just like, you know what, I hope, you know, but things happen in a good way because the way you know well us as empaths and we see things like before it's going like hey you know you putting yourself on chopping block too much and it's not going to bring you anything good it's not going to have no good fortune with you so you know you really need to change people you need to take heed when you tell them that you know anytime i've heard anytime an empath tell you something like that that means you need to turn around but you know hey some people got to fall and bust their head for them to learn so it's just like i can't you know, there are certain people I will not, it's hard for me to be even in, carry a conversation with them and stay around them too long because my energy starts, you know, acting up like, oh, this don't even feel natural. Let me just go ahead and go. And it's just like, it took me a lot to have to really go through that. Being able to not, as many people have went out their way and personally hurt me because they see light and that, you know, me having that glow up or whatever, be, me being strong and going through so many things, being able to heal, they try to break me down in so many different ways. You know, they had people talking about I was weak-minded. No, I wasn't weak-minded. It was just the fact is, you know, with you're being an empath, you always try to see the good in people. And sometimes that'll mess us up. That's our weakness. But now it's just like, you know, hey, you're, you're capable to do anything you want. But I'm getting to that point where I'm too old to be telling you <laughs> what's going on or what's going wrong or whatever. When you know you're not stupid. But, you know, I, when you tend to, you know, play me like that or you playing yourself, you know, I tend to cut people off like that. And I say, I, you know, I'm, I'm on better things right now. I, get, I don't have time to figure you out. I'm trying to figure myself out. You know, I'm helping people that want to help themselves. Like, you know, I don't mind doing that. So it's just like when you're going through those beautiful transitions, you're starting to see things for what it truly is. No matter how ugly it is or how beautiful it is, you're still learning something out of that situation. So allow yourself to ascend in the bigger and better places that you truly deserve to be because you are really going places. Just give yourself time knowing that you're seeing the signs. You know you're working towards something hard. You know you're wanting something in your life. And it's going to come right when you least expect it. And no matter how many people try to chop your blessing down or chop them down, when universe of God say, hey, it's coming, it's coming, regardless of what anybody say, what they'll say no, when God say yes, that's the only thing that matters. So I hope you are able to resonate. I'm going to go ahead and cut this short and not even say outro, but give me a thumbs up, share, like, and subscribe, drop me a line, let me know if you resonate, and I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, be wild.